Hello people, uh, welcome to Linux Design Creatives and uh, today I'm going to take you through uh, NSSF uh, payment or payroll, payroll template. I have seen most of us uh, struggling to uh, do or make payments uh, through the, uh, the payroll template and uh, majority of us uh, prefer to take uh, that uh, uh, that task to uh, cyber cafes and uh, they are charged for that service so dmox design creatives has uh, decided to uh, take you through uh, the payment or the how the process of uh, making your monthly payments to nssf uh, possible how you can make the process easy and possible so i'm gonna take you through simple steps that will uh, help you uh, maneuver through and uh, avoid uh, taking your cash or your money to the cyber cafe so the first thing that you need to do uh, you need to go to the nssf portal and then you you download uh, that uh, payroll template and then the payroll template has uh, a few instructions you can see from my excel sheet this is what actually comes down i think i will share with you the link so that uh, you can uh, download and see it for yourself so this is what uh, is required the payroll name number the surname other names id kra pin nssf number gross pay and then voluntary so from here there are uh, some descriptions where you're told no special characters nothing should appear after the last record eg totals compiled by you should not uh, provide that uh, you should also uh, column a to f column a to f should be in text format uh column a to f should be in text format and then the rest uh, should be a general format that is uh, gross pay and the voluntary and then uh, they are saying no blank rows and uh, no also hidden rows or columns file must have one sheet uh -huh. payroll number is optional you don't it's not a must to have payroll number and then include leading zeros and trailing x where applicable for nssf number and then you're told the nssf number should be a minimum of nine characters and a maximum of 10 characters so this is it now note that uh, when you are done with this or you can copy this uh, to somewhere else so that you don't uh, you avoid the errors that come in with the the the, the uploading or of the file to the nssf system so what you do you can save this somewhere else and then when you making or you're doing your additions or you are inserting the details you can be able to actually get the information from that uh, or where you have saved it so now they're saying that should delete the description rows above uh, before populating with your payroll so you can take all this and then you can delete all this and then when you delete all that then you provide all your details here so after that you save your file then after you save your file uh, uh, for me I won't save because I have uh, not <coughs> made any uh, added any details in that Excel sheet so from there you're supposed to go to NSSF uh, login uh, this is where when you get to NSSF login, you are required to enter the NSSF number. Uh, the, before the NSSF number, you are supposed to add the NS the SF SF and then the NSSF number. So from there, you log in. Uh, after you log in, these are the instructions that will help you uh, generate your supposed to create a payment order that uh, when you take to bank or when you take to nssf uh, you are able to make your payment so here we have the payroll converter we also have the action save 24 actions payment order and all that so what you do you start with the pay payroll uh, converter this is where co payroll converter will take you then you need to create you see the months are uh, following each other there's uh, april um, uh, march uh, may and then june and then like for example we're going to july you create you need you're supposed to create a new 
payroll say for example you're creating a payroll for july you input the month and the year then from there you in input uh, the regular employees and then from that you uh, input the contribution tire if your employees payments or if your payment is below 18000 you can choose tire 1 if your employments are if your employees or uh, the people you work with have uh, you have a category of people earning below 18000 and another category earning uh, above 18000 then you can choose uh, tire 1 and 2 let's choose uh, tire 1 and 2 that includes both and then uh, or if you using the all rates all rates you can choose uh, all rates then from there you can create uh, or uh, you can open a new submission uh, a new period so then from there uh, you can see uh, we have opened a new uh, uh, regular employees we have created a new uh, file so we need to upload this on this uh, row that we have created we need to upload this and when we upload that uh, we need to come here and choose our file so we'll go down to the downloads and then we will get to file so we'll choose this one and then uh, create a uh, and then upload after choosing so what they are telling you uh, you should wait I had the file payroll uh, template uh, that number was successfully uploaded then after that you go back to your converter so here here is where most of the people uh, get stuck one you get stuck uh, when you uh, make a mistake in your file when you make a mistake in your file uh, while you are generating the excel uh, sheet file or the template when you omit the id or you omit the nssf number or something uh, different that's when uh, when you input something that's not correct you did you, you saw the instructions that we were putting so this is uh, as i've told you this is where most people make mistakes if you have errors then you won't be able to proceed from this point so you must make sure that uh, your file is in the correct format and nothing is missing <coughs> and uh, from there you just click on that and then it's processed and then uh, click on that you see payroll process completed uh -huh. then uh, you, you can upload uh, your your files then you can upload your files then it tells you submission check and then finally you can check submission or they will notify you uh -huh, on that then again you click on the same until uh, submission is uh, checked then it is submission check is in progress then you can click again on that uh, so that uh, the submission is uh, state uh, gets uh, modified so when it gets modified then it you're told submission to be submitted then you can finally do submission then uh, then submission comes so when submission comes you're supposed to go to payment order you're supposed to go to payment order so when you go to payment order you will find that uh, the record is here you will find a, 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 a record uh, has uh, is actually on this uh, row here and then on this row then you're supposed to pick this click on that and drop it down there when you drop it down there the amount comes a uh, total amount and then uh, from there you're supposed to uh, create a payment mode for example the code of uh, the bank that you make your payment to for me i will put one and one is always uh, kcb so kenya commercial bank then from there you're done you're done with uh, uh, all the details that is required and then the finally you're supposed to save your data your information or a receipt that will be generated for that uh, purpose so payment order was successfully saved so when it was successfully saved it is here it comes here so your work is to 
uh, do uh, a printing of uh, that uh, payment so you can do the printing and then this is the document that you're supposed to take to NSSF offices or you're supposed to make there's always a number a unique number that is usually generated uh, so that uh, you can make any payment or an online payment there's always uh, the unique payment number here this uh, on this uh, top part here so that is the number that you're supposed to take to k to nssf offices or the number that you're supposed to the unique number that you're supposed to make your payment with so i believe i have uh, saved you a uh, big hassle i have helped you uh follow through if you don't get anything maybe you can do a comment down there you can comment uh, something that uh, you need me to clarify and uh, i believe you're going to be able to make your payment without a lot of uh, issues and always remember to do this before the 15th of every month to avoid uh, penalties uh, to avoid uh, fines uh, that are usually charged don't wait until uh, the 15th of the following month so thank you so much for following through i believe uh, you have taken uh, something that will help you uh, that uh, tomorrow you will save your 200 shillings your 300 shillings do not take this uh, to the cyber cafes when you have the ability to do it and have given you the leeway uh, the process all the steps that you need to take so that you make all that payment thank you uh, for that uh, until we meet uh, for another tutorial see ya